Well, we continue with a very special guest today. His name is Monkey, but not what you're thinking. Not the kind of monkey you're thinking. There's Monkey. <laughs> That's right. Mac, you're so full of awesome information. I love, I feel like I really genuinely learn something every day. All right, guys, so I'm here with Monkey and his master, <laughs> Marcus from Feathered Friends and Company, right? That's correct. Feathered All right. Friends and Company. So I know that when I first met you and these amazing little birdies at an event, I had no idea that this company existed. So tell me about Feathered Friends and what inspired you to open this business. So Feathered Friends and Company is an all bird store, and uh, we raise birds specifically for you know, for pets. And um, the thing that, that we do there is we allow people to come in mm -hmm. and hang out with the birds before they actually make the move to take a bird home because a bird is a big responsibility. They are, yes. and especially because they have a very long lifespan. Tell that me about is that. Correct. So um, most parrots can typically have a lifespan up to about 80 years. Um, a monkey here, you know, hopefully we'll have him for in, in, until he's about 95, you know, to 100 years old, possibly. That's amazing. And, um, you know, sometimes you have, you actually made a comment to me, sometimes you have to put them in your will. Um, well, yeah, because you don't get them when you're born. You get them, we're not going to gonna make it past 100. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so he'll end up belonging to your great grandson mm -hmm. or something. Hopefully that's the plan. Which is so. really interesting. And tell me, what kind of bird is monkey? So monkey is a uh, seven-year-old Moluccan cockatoo. Mm -hmm. um, he uh, is native of Australia. He's, he, I don't think he's actually ever been to Australia. Does he have an accent? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> My name is monkey. His name is monkey. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it goes. He, his like. favorite thing to eat is uh, shrimp on the Barbie. No. Ooh, you, you like shrimp too, monkey. <laughs> but as a matter of fact, speaking of jokes, I have one for you. You do? All right, yes. here we go. So what do you get? when you cross a parrot and a centipede? I give up. A walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> so, He's like, that's not funny, Dad. I know. Like, <laughs> he didn't think it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that we were talking about earlier was the whole idea of the birds having to go and live with like a family member. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason uh, Corpus Christi also has the Coastal Bend Companion Bird Club and Rescue Mission. Okay. And it is our mission to take care of birds that no longer have homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am actually president of the, uh, the nonprofit organization, and we find uh, people to take birds that unfortunately have nowhere to go. Um, say, you know, Grandma Lulu lives to be 125 years mm -hmm. old, and her family doesn't want the loud bird that's, you know, been living in the house. Oh, cover your ears. Cover I know. Ears. Sorry, monkey. <laughs> it's okay, monkey. So it's our organization's job to actually take the birds to um, and foster, and then we actually find a permanent home to adopt them out to free of charge. Awesome. And, and do some of these birds have, like, issues when they're released from their lifetime yeah, partner? Yeah, you know, unfortunately, sometimes... Uh, somebody will have a bird and they just can't care for it properly, mm -hmm. leave it in a dark room, so they don't have toys, things to interact with. Mm -hmm. Birds need to be um, stimulated. Yes. They need the, the love, the attention, and the care. And if they're not, they tend to start pulling their feathers off. Get stressed um, out. They get stressed out. Mm -hmm. So also, our organization raises money to take them to the vet to be cared for properly and to get the medication and things that they may need. Birds actually, uh, once they've been so stressed out, they need Prozac. Oh wow, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, so some, <laughs> so there's some- um, uh, Like, rah, give me Prozac, rah. Exactly. But <laughs> after proper pets. care, proper uh, diet, things mm -hmm. like that, they, go, they can be, you know, they can live on to an amazing life for years and years to come. And what does it take to raise a parrot? Like, how do you train them to do cool right. stuff? And what do you have to like feed them and do daily with them? So one of the things on uh, properly training a bird is consistency. Mm -hmm. And I know that I like treats and I like chocolate chip cookies and things like that. Don't give a bird chocolate chip cookies, no. but find out what your bird's favorite <laughs> food is and reinforce good behavior. So monkey, for example, hasn't always been this amazing. He, he didn't always want to step up and go from you person are, to person. You are amazing. So we know that he likes peanuts. So oh, peanuts? yeah, when he does something that, that we like that he does, hand him a peanut, he figures out that that's good behavior. Mm -hmm. We reinforce it with you know a positive, uh, positivity, mm -hmm. give him a peanut and there you go. He's like, did you say peanuts? So yeah. uh, where can people meet Monkey? Do you have any events coming yeah. up? Well, Monkey actually lives in, in our store, in my store, Feathered Friends and Company over on Castor's. Okay. However, we do have an event coming up September the 28th is the uh, Bird Mart. 
and at Bird Mart, um, we have people who uh, raise birds, who have bird toys, different feeds, toys, cages, everything from all over the, the state, some people from different states. They come to Corpus Christi, we hang out at the Alamine Shrine Center, mm -hmm. and it's called Bird Mart. Oh and my gosh. Yeah, the door. When is Bird Mart? Bird Mart is September the 28th. September 28th. Yeah, there it We've is. We've got there the info there. September 28th. I'm going to make that five. happen. Yes. yes, it's amazing. I want to meet more monkeys. Yes. I know. So monkeys. not only, you know, we're going to have monkey there this year, but we have so many amazing members of this club that have their birds with them. It's a, a, an amazing event that happens thanks to tons of volunteers. It's a lot of effort and it's been going on for, honestly, I think about 57 years. So That's amazing. And hopefully we can keep it going. And um, the money that we raise at the door is what pays for the birds to get vetted and taken care of. That's incredible. What I love Thank is that you. you're not just a, pair, a business that sells birds. You are right. giving back to the community and doing all that great stuff. Yep. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Any thank last you. information our viewers need to know? No, I mean, just that's, visit uh, you guys. Yeah, if you want to visit Monkey again, come by Feathered Friends and Company. We'd love and to yeah, have you. Yeah, you're so sweet, Monkey. Yeah, he is definitely a ladies' He's bird. A good so. Boy. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be right back with more Coastal Living. <laughs> You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV, the only lifestyle show made in the Coastal Bend for the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.